So tell me, over in Thailand, are they still the friendliest people in the world? They are the most beautiful, friendliest people in the world. Yeah. And because they're so friendly, they actually give you space when you're out riding on their roads, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. The, the, the roads in Thailand, um, we have a lot of riders that, that comment on, on just how friendly friendly the drivers are and, you know, you're not getting trucks that are sitting behind you like you might do in Australia. Personally, I think it's one of the safest places to ride. Yeah, I'd absolutely agree with that. Mm. So in this video, we're going to have a bit of a chat about etiquette. Um, and, and the sort of stuff that you want to do when you're out on your bike. So, Claire, when we're out riding, um, uh, often when you're sort of at the, at the front, you've got people behind you, um, you're blocking their view of what's ahead, right? Correct. So they're actually relying on you to call out what you've just seen. So, Claire, what's some of the things that we're going to need to call out for? Um, so over in Thailand, um, you know, the, ro the roads aren't in the greatest condition sometimes, so there might be potholes. Oy. So if you're riding past a pothole, how do we call that out, Brad? All right, we call out hole. Yeah. All right, so nice and nice and loud and quite simple hole. And then we point to it. All right, so um, uh, so let's say that there's uh, it's coming up on either your left or your right. Hole, we point. All right, uh, and then the person behind, what do they now do, Cliff? Well, they now call it out to the person behind them. Correct. So. Here we go. We've got a couple of things to remember now, yeah? One, you see something, call it out, point it out. Two, you hear somebody call something out, point it out, you repeat it so that the person behind you can hear. But let's not play Chinese whispers. So if it's, <laughs> if it's a hole, let's call it a hole and um, not send messages down the back that may alarm people. <laughs> <laughs> correct, correct. Because uh, sometimes we see dogs too, right? We absolutely, we see dogs, um, there might be some dead snakes on the side of the road, um, but you know, as long might as we might be some live snakes on the side <laughs> of the road. <laughs> but look, as long as we're calling that stuff out, you, you, you're looking after the rest of the group that you're riding with. Yeah, if we see a dog on the side of the road, they don't want to chase us. Um, uh, but do slow down because they do actually move. All right, so call out dog, point to the dog, slow down. All right, but do just keep on moving. If the dogs do get into a chase, um, they they won't for very long. You know, there's there's more in their in their bark than, than <laughs> they find. Laziest dogs in the world. Oh, definitely, <laughs> definitely. So you know, don't be alarmed. Just keep on pedalling. Um, don't stop your bike. Just just keep going. So we're riding along. We're going to turn left. Arms go out. We're turning either left. We're turning right. One of the things if we're slowing down or we're stopping. We're going to do these ones, yeah? Stop, and we call it out, stopping or slowing, whatever it might be. Again, we're showing the signal as well as calling it out. Yeah. Okay. So there are times when we're riding um, through small villages or we might be riding down quite a narrow road um, and there might be a car coming up from behind or, or forward. So it might be a case of, as a group, we need to get into single file. Um, so we just call that there's a car coming um, from behind or, or one in the front. Yeah, and that's, and that's really easy too, car back means car behind you, car up means car in front of you. Easy right. etiquette, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Um, and look, one thing I'll throw in there, Brad, um, you know, so as, as we're riding as a group, there'll be many of you that haven't ridden in these group environments before. And so, so what we do encourage all of our riders is, um, you know, if you want to ride with music, um, and if you want to ride with, with headphones, we ask that um, you can do that. You're missing out on great conversation if you do that um, by talking to your fellow riders. Um, but if you can just leave uh, one of your ears free so that you can hear the calls and you can pass them down the group. Riding a bike, it's fair to say that it's, got, it's like an individual thing, right? Mm -hmm. It's you, it's the bike, it's the road. And, and that's all well and good, but you just have more fun when you turn this individual sport into a group sport. Yeah. Fair call? Definitely. Absolutely. So one of the things that you can do to turn it into a group sport is, is something that we actually call drafting. Now this, this is, now we're starting to get really technical, yeah? This does actually make the ride that much easier. Now what drafting is, is essentially following the bike that's in front of you and trying to keep your front wheel in alignment with their rear wheel. Uh, if you are behind, so you've got somebody that's in the front, you are behind them, keeping that metre, metre and a half, um, it does make it easier for you. So often when you're feeling a bit tired, um, it, it's a good pace to try and sit, you get a little bit more airflow, it reduces the amount of energy that you use by something like 30 odd percent. Mm -hmm. 
The other cool thing is kind of you're going to be shoulder to shoulder people to, to people as well to, to a degree. You're going to have some people maybe on this side of you, some people maybe on that side. Again, just remember to keep that distance. All what right, so about. yeah, yeah. So yeah. about this kind of distance between bikes. <laughs> all right, yeah. What's what's that? You know, I'm like, a meter. I can a meter? I can touch Claire, <laughs> but I can't push her over. <laughs> oh, and look, and just on that, I guess it's um, important that we're always riding to a breast. We're never, we're never three or four on the road, so we do have to share the road with with other drivers. Um, even though the drivers are lovely, um, we do need to be respectful of of where we're riding. Cool. So that gives you some ideas around etiquette. It also gives you some ideas around drafting. Um, uh, now what we're doing is moving into certainly the, the later stages of our training. So by now you're feeling fit, you're feeling strong, uh, a stomach that you had at the start of this may not be quite as big, uh, you know, the, the <laughs> glutes, the glutes are looking even better than yeah. what they looked at the start of this campaign. Yeah. So now we're rolling into the next lot of training. So the next lot of training, again, we're going to try to stick to three sessions per week. Two of those are just one hour sessions. We're just going to try and pick up the pace a little bit now. All right, so what we're wanting to do, keeping with the uh, cadence of 80, maybe just a higher gear, doing that same, you know, trying to cover more distance in that one hour. And then that third training session is still a longer session. So we might push that out rather than two hours, we might try to push that out to three hours. We do that, we're going to have a great time over in Thailand because you're going to be riding at a nice comfortable pace and you've just got more energy to well, stop and smell the roses, yeah? Absolutely, yeah. Beautiful. Enjoy, have fun. Enjoy your training.